could rise above 18% by January of next year, with warnings that the Bank of England could be forced to raise interest rates from 1.75% to as high as 7%. Yes, this comes ahead of a Friday announcement by Ofgem, the energy regulator, that the energy price cap will rise by over £1,500 in October to £3,553 from the current cap, which sits at just under £2,000. Yeah, news isn't much better for the private sector. Growth has slowed and there are warnings that it could be moving closer to stagnation. Joining us now to discuss this in more detail is our economics and business editor, Liam Halligan. I mean, Liam, this, the whole lot looks like a sort of runaway train, a cocktail of economic disaster. I mean, is there any light at the end of the tunnel? The first thing I was going to say was, you know, let's keep our, our chins up. There, it isn't inevitable we're going to go into recession uh, this autumn in the UK. That's when growth goes negative. You just mentioned that private sector growth number. That's the so-called PMI index. That's still above 50, which indicates growth, though it has come down from just over 52. But the really worrying thing for me is what Mer Mercy mentioned, that increase in the off-gem energy price cap that's coming in, in on Friday. Mercy, of course, you were pointing to estimated increases. Mm. We don't know the official number till Friday. And, of course, that is going to lead to a lot of hardship for a lot of households, not just at the lower end of the income scale, right up into households that you know, would have thought of themselves as comfortably off. Um, and I'm sure there will be a package of measures mm. from the incoming Prime Minister. One thing I should mention, which doesn't get nearly enough airtime, is that that energy price cap which caps the average household fuel bill doesn't apply to firms. So firms have to take the full brunt of those wholesale energy price rises. Now, a lot of big firms can look after themselves. They can buy energy on forward markets. They can use sort of, you know, they can get involved in wholesale energy markets themselves. It's the small firms, the pubs, the retailers, the restaurants, the laundrettes, they're the ones I really worry about because they've just got to ring up and try and do a deal with an energy company like mm. all the rest of us. Yeah, and in fact, I was recently getting out a new uh, energy tariff and... But for the fact that there was one, you know, 3,000 something uh, price tariff, the next one down, the second cheapest was over 7,000 yeah. pounds. That's what yeah. was on offer. So that's what, you know, a household like mine is facing. God knows what firms are um, facing. I do want to talk about this help that you say is on offer and more help that will be on offer, hopefully, when the new prime minister um, comes in. There's that 400 pounds, isn't there? Talk yeah. to us a bit about that. So that's an across the board uh um, grant. It was originally going to be a loan under Rishi Sunak. Then he changed his mind when the situation got worse. That applies to all households. Also, Liz Truss, who let's you know, let's face it, she's probably going to be the next prime minister, barring a huge unexpected turn of events. She said she will suspend the green energy levies on household fuel bills. That generally accounts for 20, 25 percent of your electricity bill. So that's another bit of help. But I think there's going to need to be a much, much bigger package where some kind of variant of freezing the price cap. Labour's talked about that, that it probably won't be as interventionist as that. But there'll be some kind of uh, smoothing element where the increases in the energy bills now are deferred and you have to pay them off over the next sort of three to five, even 10 years. This is hopefully a one off event. Gas prices spiked on European markets yesterday because it's now becoming increasingly clear that Vladimir Putin may indeed cut off the gas to uh, Western Europe, which will hammer Germany, hammer France. But also, we are at the end of that European gas complex. I often hear said, oh, we're much less vulnerable. We're not. OK, there's a wholesale price for gas. And if Putin turns the gas taps off, Western European gas will become extremely expensive.